Kumbal Hanagman analyzed the birth charts and personalities of royals and assessed how well suited to royal life each member of the firm is. Prince Harry came in second place after the Queen, and Prince William came in last. According to the expert, there are three main planetary points that outline an individual's personality, the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, and Ms. Honigman's analysis showed that the Queen is the most suited to royal life with a suitability score of 9 out of 10. Psychic in Baal said, with a Taurus Sun, 10 tenths, she upholds traditions with aplomb, and enjoys routines. Her Leo Moon, 9 tenths, helps her feel right at home in the very uncommon position of monarch, as Leo is the lion, king of the jungle. All helped by her Capricorn ascendant, 8 tenths, a sign with a focused mind and a keen eye for strategy and tact. Prince Harry is the second best royal suited to royal life and the best place to take over the monarchy. The Duke of Sussex scored 8.3 out of 10 for suitability for the crown. Ms. Honigman's analysis found that Harry's son Virgo makes him fair and just and earns him a score of 7 tenths. Likewise, his moon Taurus, makes him perfect royal material as he is practical and dependable and his ascendant Capricorn means he is business-minded and focused. She said, Prince Harry may have had the cheeky reputation in his youth, but he is triple Earth, boasting one of each of the Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo as his main planets. Earth signs are mature, responsible and principled. The formerly cheeky prince is now a respected husband and father, as well an activist and charity supporter. He puts his family above all else. His astrology fits. Prince William and Kate's son, Prince George, ranks number 8 out of the firm for suitability for the crown. But despite the likelihood of him becoming king one day, Ms. Honigman outlined why his astrological sign may mean he is not suited to royal life. She said, Prince George will likely be king one day, in two generations' time if not longer. His chart has a prominent Scorpio placement, which isn't ideal for a potential royal, as it is linked with secrets and lies, with impulsive tendencies and certainly away from tradition. Scorpio placements can also be creative, empathic and look after the underdog, so they're not a negative sign, but they don't take joy in sitting on a throne, upholding traditions which are hundreds of years old. Surprisingly, the astrologer believes Prince William is the least suited to become the future king because of his free-spirited nature. She said, Prince William has had his path laid out from childhood, as firstborn and future king. But his Sagittarian love of freedom and travel is evident in his life choices, from his military career and extensive official trips abroad. His Cancerian nature is ever-present in his hands-on parenting of his three young kids. No doubt he will make a wonderful monarch, but his free spirit will change traditions around the royal family, when his turn comes. In other news, the safety of Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's family has come under scrutiny after it was revealed that the royal family were tormented by 170 stalkers in 2021 to 10 of which were considered at the highest danger level by the police. Royal expert Duncan Larcombe told, Kate's children's protection is a constant worry for her but she just has to have faith that they have these expert police officers. Over the years they have altered and upped the security. After the 7 sevenths bombings in London, the number of protection officers looking after William almost doubled so they do monitor the threat constantly. He continued, this will do Harry no end of good to be able to demonstrate the need for security. These numbers will be based on police intelligence, they're not just plucked out of the sky. They do reinforce the fact that Harry is a target whether he's part of the royal family or not and so are his children.